Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click Hire Us or the contact form, fill that form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What this video is about is, you know, James and I over the years have spent a lot of time uh, perfecting uh, our rollouts of Grandstream phone systems, a lot of time. And so there's a lot of things that we do little uh, nature versus nurture things, right? That make our deployments go much easier, help us with the troubleshooting afterwards. So this is kind of a pro tip. So um, in this one, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate on and, and people are gonna ask me why, why, why? But I will tell you, this is one ingredient in the recipe that we use for a successful Grandstream UCM deployment uh, with with uh, multi-site or uh, multi-network integration, right? So if we got phones on another uh, voice VLAN other than the VLAN that the PBX is on, right? So over here we have our Grandstream UCM and we're gonna go to system settings, network settings, and then there's this static routes. Now, what we do is for every network that this PBX is going to have voice devices that it is going to talk to on, we add a static route here. You might be saying, you know, why are you doing that if the PBX itself has a default route, which is the same as the gateway for these. Uh, I will tell you over the years, we have uh, done a lot of troubleshooting and between this and NAT settings, this is just something that we always do. We always go to this and we always put these in here and this is just one of the things that we do to have a successful rollout without issues. So if you're uh, having you know, some communication errors with your UCM, this could be part of it. It could be NAT. I mean, even caller ID sometimes looks like NAT issues. So you gotta know where to troubleshoot, right? So, uh, but this is just one thing that if you've got multiple networks that your UCM is gonna talk to, I would go ahead and I would add these static routes in there. You can see uh, some of these uh, are at, at James. James and I have a trunk in between our locations. James also has a phone on the system here. So uh, this is just something that we always do. So just a little tip for our uh, best practice deployments. And if you need help with Grandstream UCM or any other telephony product, make sure you reach out at willyhow.com, fill out that contact form or click hire us and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment and share, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Those links are down below. Our affiliate links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. There's also a link down there to become a patron on Patreon, and thank you to all those folks. And as always, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and I'll see you 